The Autobox Symmetry for the iPad is a decent iPad case. It gets the job done. So if you're at the Apple store and you're thinking, do I need to get this case instead of the really expensive Apple one? Maybe. But there are a couple of things that I don't really like about the case, namely the fact that it shares the same name with the Symmetry for the iPhone and is nothing like it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the person who designed the buttons for the Symmetry for the iPad also designed the ba uh, battery, the buttons for the terrible, terrible buttons on the Autobox Figura. Like these things are just so bad. It's basically the equivalent of putting a rubber stopper in front of a closed door that you're trying to open. Like, just, just why? And Mobile Reviews, a Monty and I, this antisocial puff, base all our reviews on actual usage. We don't take money for our videos and we try to buy all the products ourselves so that we can use them at our own pace. Getting free stuff is pretty awesome, but having to create a review for a company who wants it in four days because it fits in their marketing campaign? Sorry. Reviewer, not influencer. The design of the iPad version of the Symmetry is very, very average. It's what you would expect from an Autobox case. The case sits in a TPU bumper, the back is made from clear polycarbonate, and the cover is like every other iPad cover with a microfiber interior that puts the iPad to sleep when you cover the screen. So, uh, Monty, should we do the pros first, or should we do the cons first? What do you think? Let's start with the pros. This case doesn't get in the way of using a screen protector. Other cases, like the ones from Urban Armor Gear, have significant case edges that won't work with a bad screen protector install or ones that are too close to the edge. The cover of this case attaches well to the back of the uh, case and then this little doohickey here also protects your Apple Pencil. And even if you don't have an Apple Pencil there, it's going to sit flush with the case edge, which is kind of nice. Now this feature where it just kind of like flaps over the back, I didn't think this was a uh, big deal until I started using this case after using the ESR one, which had it reversed, so it had to like sit on the inside. Ah, that's just so terrible. So this, this is a nice feature, not annoying. Standing your iPad up in this case is quite stable and it won't allow your iPad to fall easily backwards. During this time of isolation, I also realized that the Symmetry is the only iPad case I had that allowed me to easily set the device in portrait mode during a FaceTime call. The thicker the bumpers coupled with the decent flap gave me confidence to set the iPad in portrait mode, which is something I can't say for other cases. Most iPad iPad cases are designed for your iPad to sit in this way, not this way. I totally forgot my iPad, the little one with the script, so like I'm reading the script off the big one that should be in this one right now. Sorry guys! Now the back of the case is clear, which might be appealing to some, but it is incredibly smooth, so your really expensive magical piece of glass is going to slide around like a $3 hockey puck on ice. The clear back will also scratch quite easily. Now despite the smooth back, the edges of the case are quite rubbery and will offset that slickness when you're using your iPad. Before you get to why you shouldn't buy this case, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure you click subscribe because I'm doing a review a day uh, during this isolation period. Um, and even when the isolation period ends, I'm just going to keep doing these daily reviews because I think it helps me to tell the stories for each one of these products before I go do the big roundups. This channel is unsponsored, so support me any way you possibly can because, well, these things are not cheap. And it may not look like it, but Monty is a gold digger. The worst part about this case as I already said, are the buttons. They are incredibly tough to use. Like it's it's face punchingly bad to use. It boggles my mind that we can have a case manufacturer who creates a case like the Symmetry for the iPhones with removable buttons that are just amazing to use and then they turn around and produce whatever the hell this thing is. Honestly, it's the equivalent of putting Vaseline on your car handles. Like mm. the case edges along the speaker cutout and port areas are quite pliable and the port cutout isn't large enough to use slightly larger cables. I've got a mixed collection of Thunderbolt 3 cables and normal USB-C cables and some of them are just so hard to use with this case. But don't fret if you think that footage me pulling on the side of the case is, you know, disheartening. The rest of the case edges are very, very tight and the iPad isn't going to come flying out during an accidental drop, we'll say. Now when it comes to protection, the symmetry is going to do a good job of protecting your iPad from hopefully the very, very rare occasional drop. In fact, other than the price, the only other reason to get the symmetry case over the Apple Smart Cover is the protection. Now how high would I drop it? Maybe from table height, maybe, and it's, I don't even know if I'm there yet as I'm recording this video because dropping iPhones, yeah, easily done, but dropping gigantic iPads, that just seems so terrible. Oh, 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 oh. Is it still flat? Let's find out. That ah, still looks pretty flat. Does it still turn on? 
So that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. If there is a specific iPad case you want me to take a look at, let me know. I've got a bunch of the US UAG ones. I'm working on getting some Moshi ones. There actually isn't a lot of them. Like I know Spec does, but they don't sell their iPad cases in Canada. Like it's, it's odd. I can go to the US site, but they won't ship to Canada. The world's most longest unprotected border and they won't ship, yeah, whatever. This is part of the isolation video series. Gonna do a big roundup of these cases um, probably in a couple of months after I get through at least a couple dozen of them, hopefully, if I can get my hands on them. And that's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching. So when you use your um, Using the symmetry route after using the uh, uh, uh. Oh, this hurts so much. My elbow's in such an awkward position right now.